On this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, Amos is getting nasty. I see what you did there. Also, dirt therapy or something? If you look at the dirt long enough, you'll see some lights in the sky. We've also got a new Star Wars show to talk about and uh, movie pass and so much more. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 193 for Thursday, the 8th of November, 2018. This is a show where two lifelong friends and sometimes have guests and they celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos and that's Kent and Kent is not the one that had the channel muted for the intro music, but you won't know because it sounded fine to you. Thanks. <laughs> Live podcasting <laughs> Oh man, hey Kent, uh, how you been, dude? Like this is, it's been a it's been a crazy week, man. Like I've been just slammed, slammed busy. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh as, as you said many times in the pre-show, it's been a week. <laughs> it it has. It's been exactly one week. Um, man, uh, God, dude. So I don't know what it is. It, part of it's being busy. Part of it's like just so much stuff going on. New fiscal year. New mm. like all kinds of stuff going on. I don't know. But I've been stressed a lot lately, and, and I don't really know why, because it's just kind of just, I don't know, work and life and everything. Well, uh, part of my job at the end of the day is to run a like an end-of-day security checklist for my building. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have to go into each of the rooms and, you know, check, you know, make sure doors are locked and bullshit like that, right? Well, there's this one room that is always just a cluttered mess People never clean up after themselves in there. That there's just furniture scattered all askew, and it's just a. It's, ugh. So the uh, the other day, I, th I think it was Monday. I was walking through there, and I'm like, you know what? This is this is BS. I'm done. I'm done with it. So the next morning, I came in and I told my coworkers, like, get your ass in this room with me, and we are going to fix this. Mm. We took everything out of the room except for the like the you know the heavy equipment that can't move we took all the furniture all the crap out of this room cleaned it spick and span and then we moved different furniture in there so that it fit better and everything is clean and spotless and organized and oh my god i felt so much better like it's like this burden was yeah. lifted from me and life was suddenly better and made a little more sense <laughs> and then that night I came home, I came home from work and I was kind of in it because, you know, you, you get your work stress, right? And then you come home and there's a different set of stress and whatnot, right? And you kind of change gears and whatnot. Well, I had the same kind of thing going on at the house. I was like, you know what? That corner over there could be used for something else. Instead, it's just, just cluttered. <laughs> I did the same damn thing. I completely, I moved everything out of this corner of the room cleaned it all up, put everything back in a, in a much nicer way. Half of the shit that was in that corner went straight in the trash can because it was <laughs> no business being in my house. And oh my God, I felt so much better all over again. Ah, oh, dude, getting rid of dirt, getting rid of clutter, making spaces usable again. It's therapy, man. So <clears throat> now I, I have a question for you. You say you cleaned out the space in your building on Monday. Yep. So it's nice and spick and span and clean and usable and it's presentable now? It is. Okay. Yes. So by my count, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're three days overdue for some random officer claiming it as his office. Uh, good luck with that room. But uh, yeah, I mean... Cause that's always what happens. You 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 finally clean clean out some space, and you're like, oh my god, we can use this for this and this and this and this. And the next day you come in there, and there's some random officer sitting there with his computer on his lap, like, hey, how can I help you? This is my new office. Yeah, that that does seem to be a standard op. But the good news is, we're only going to be in this building for a little while longer. So mm. if an officer does run up in there and claim it, nah, okay, I don't care. You're out. <laughs> Nice. And uh, so with the house, it's the same thing, right? You did that Monday? Uh, I think it was. So actually, so what it was, was uh, Monday was when I was 
fed up. And then Tuesday morning I came in and cleaned everything. And then I came home Tuesday night and did the same thing at the house. Mm. Okay. So <clears throat> that means you're about two days overdue for Stephanie taking that corner and doing something <laughs> <know>. with it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's definitely a, a space that she would, she would claim. Too. Yeah. Which room is it? If I can, if you can say without divulging too much on the old public interwebs. Yeah. No, um, the, the room at the house is actually the the bar area, kind of the uh, the converted. Um, oh, the, uh, the back area. Yeah. 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 That, yep. that well, when I was there a couple of years ago, it was pretty cluttered. So I can only imagine that by now it's even more so. And well, yeah. well it was. Yeah. Now it's not. We had a gathering a, a couple of weeks ago for like a Halloween party. And to get ready for that, we did a lot of cleaning in there. Got rid of like probably three quarters of the clutter. Mm. <laughs> it, uh, but, you know, we didn't get quite all of it. But there was this one corner that like still had just kind of stuff piling, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, no more. That stuff's gone now." <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so something else that's th therapeutic for me, anyway, is scenery and just the beautiful things that we see up here in Alaska. And well, this was an actual picture. I'm going to show it to the uh, to the old people if if things work right. This is an actual picture from my back porch, and. Yeah, Feeds yeah. into one of your other hobbies of photography. It is. And this is the Aurora Borealis. This popped out Tuesday, I think was the night. We had an amazing show. I only got to see part of it. This is the picture that I took after spending about 10 minutes trying to find the proper lens to take the picture because, well, I had just come back from a trip and had my camera all packed up in two different bags. So it was kind of a kind of a bummer. I missed a lot of the the high activity. My daughter says there were purples and pinks in the sky, and of course I caught just the normal green, but then it's amazing. It's really, really cool, especially when it's really active because it's it's really bright. Like, it, this is actually what it looks like outside. It's not like this, you know, this is a 30-second exposure with some settings, but this is essentially what it looked like, except the green lines were waving. It's a ribbon, and it, it was actually moving back and forth and, like, flitting around the sky and stuff. It was just so fucking cool. It's one of my favorite things about Alaska is what you can see up here that you don't really get a chance to see many other places. I mean, Canada gets to see it all the time, so they don't care. But for me, <laughs> this is one of the reasons I wanted to come to Alaska. And it's just, it's amazing every time I get a chance to see it. Uh, yeah, like Squid07 in the chat says, like moose shit. Um, well, see, oh, that's not very rare. So you see it all the time. It's like coming up here to see an Alaskan license plate. Oh, look at that. It's really cool. No, you see moose shit all the time. <laughs> Yeah, but it's definitely something that you can't see down here. Um, I mean, you could. It's It just looks like dried out meatballs in a pile. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's really awesome, dude. Uh, is there a place out there publicly that people can look at your photography? Uh, not yet. I'm still working on that. Uh, I've got too many too many things on my on my list of stuff to do to get my portfolio out there. But it's it's coming yeah. soon. By the end of the year, I'll have it up. Excellent. Yeah, like like pro like you have projects, like you have things going on. That's, uh... <laughs> Man, you know, okay, you know who else has things going on? That's Disney. They no kidding. They recently announced the name of their upcoming streaming service. They're calling it Disney Plus, uh, kind of generic, but it works. I think Disney Plus sounds like a a good name. Uh, we're looking at probably about another year, so late 2019. I guess fourth quarter 2019 is when it's supposed to be out. They keep announcing Star Wars shows. A mm -hmm. couple of weeks ago, we talked about The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Resistance is their new animated series that's on Disney XD right now. Uh, they announced another one today. You remember Rogue One? Did you like Rogue One? It was all right. Yeah, you remember the the spy dude, like the 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 guy that had the the tall robot with him, K two S O. Yep. Uh, Cassian Andor. Yep. He's getting his own live action TV series. He was my favorite character in that sh um, in the movie. Yeah, I think so. This 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 actually sounds really awesome to me. Yeah, dude. Like, so he was he was a spy for the Rebel Alliance, and uh, you know, lots of espionage. They hinted at the beginning of the movie, like he was uh, not exactly um, morally pure. Like he murdered a dude in the beginning. <laughs> Um, you know, do it, does what it, what it takes to get the job done. Obviously right. this show is going to be a prequel, uh, no spoilers about rogue one, but it's definitely going to be a prequel <laughs> to rogue one. <clears throat> if you've seen the departed, you know how rogue one ends. 
but yeah, dude, I, I I think this is cool. I wonder um, it, if we're just going to get a, a, a Star Wars live action series announced once a month from here on out until the till Disney Plus launches. Didn't didn't Bob Iger just come out and say that we're forcing too much Star Wars out at one time and like we need to slow our pace and slow our roll and everything else? I that part makes me a little nervous, but you know what? If it's done well, Star Wars is amazing. So yeah, let, let it I'm, go. Yeah, exactly. So far, Star Wars has done very well with the animated series. Uh, so if they can, if that can carry over into live action TV series, mm-hmm. then uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. The part that gets me though is Disney Plus. Yeah, like they've already had a Disney Plus. It was it was a. a web service that you could watch Disney shows on and it'd have like little information and things about it like way back in the day before iPads and shit really got popular. Mm. I don't like the name Disney Plus. Disney Plus mm. what? <laughs> like that's, every plus. time I see something plus, that's what I like. Plus what? Is this Disney added to something else or is this? I don't know. Uh, it really irritates me when I see pluses in names. Speaking of pluses in names, I bought an as. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh so nas for those who don't know network attached storage yes uh cruz says disney plus plus which is uh c i don't know if it's c and c plus plus i guess the c plus plus would, would matter but c plus plus is incremented by one c you know plus one is incremented by one so disney plus plus would actually make more sense to me yeah <laughs> All right, so I got a. Uh, I, I've been battling around for a while on which NAS I should get. Should I build one? Should I buy one? If I buy one, should I get a really big one or should I get one that's, uh, you know, temperate in size, like, you know, four bay, like four drives or whatever, versus an eight drive versus five versus five plus five. Like, there's so many different configurations and ways, ways that you could do it. And I finally decided that I do not have the time in my life to build my own NAS and mess with it and tinker with it and shit like that. I really need something that I can plug in, hit play, let it go to town, let it do its thing, and just give me results. That's what I need. Mm. So so uh, Apple makes NASs now? Well, I mean, technically they do. The airport, or air, yeah, the airport? No, not the airport. Sure. Airport yeah. Extreme. I don't know whichever one that is. Yeah, the product they discontinued and um, was, ju- you know, just in time as mine is shitting out. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have one right there, and I've got a spare one over here if you need it. It's like, because <laughs> I took one with me to Korea, and I had one at the house. Anyway, <laughs> I settled on a Synology uh, for what I need. I-, I wanted to run my Plex server. I want it to have ultimate storage. I want to be able to have cross compatibility between Windows and Mac because we are a mixed household. And I wanted um, a few of the other features on there, but I wanted it all in one single package that I didn't have to go out and get other stuff for. Like you didn't have to tinker with it too much, whatever. Mm. And the value versus power proposition settled on the DS918+. plus. In this instance, the plus actually means something. It it's the ones with the with more power. <laughs> well, it's like Disney Plus. It's, it's Disney and with more power. Uh, we have yet to see any of this new Disney stuff they're going to put on this channel. We don't know if it's more power or just more of a time suck. Uh, right? Yeah, it's probably a little. <laughs> what, are, what, little are bit. The, what are the benchmarks on the Disney Plus service? <laughs> Um, um, lots of, lots of Star Wars and lots of Marvel. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what I settled on. Uh, it should be here Monday, which brings me to my next point. Amazon is doing this tricky little thing where I ordered it on Sunday. It's going to get here Monday, which is cool because it takes a while to ship up here to Alaska, right? So, so not, not the next day, not overnight shipping. No. Okay. No. So. So seven, eight days. Mm, eight days. Okay. Well, it takes it takes a while to, to ship up here, right? No, 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 no. They haven't shipped it yet. Uh, oh. They're going to wait until Friday to ship it, and it's going to arrive here Monday. Instead of just shipping it out Monday and it getting here Wednesday, so I have the long weekend to mess with it. No. That would well, be too easy. I mean, you only have so many sled dogs, man. You can only send them up north of the wall once a week. So you got to wait until all the dogs are back. 
Except them up on Friday. Except I ordered boots for Amber on the same order, and they shipped out yesterday and are going to be here tomorrow. Hey, I mean, sometimes <laughs> I mean the boots are light, you know. So <laughs> like a single dog could could run them over real quick. Go, go, Charlie, go! Take this up to that house in Wasilla. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he had to meet the rest of his sled team. He was like the spare dog. He was second string. <laughs> Sled dog. Second string and, sled dog. That's awful. And one, and one of the sled dogs on the main team like broke a leg, probably had to be put down. <laughs> so they had to send Charlie <laughs> up to Wasilla anyway. So mm. might as well take Amber's boots. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I announced it last week, but we finally settled on the name Kai for the puppy. As in Rizdal. Uh, as in ocean in Hawaiian. But whatever. You, you do you, boo. <laughs> same, same. Ocean Rizdal. Got it. Mm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Now, what's Rizdal? It's like Scandinavian or something, I think. Probably. No, literally. I think it's like Scandinavian or Norwegian. But anyway. Yeah. Also, literally, probably. <laughs> um. So while I'm configuring my Plex to watch movies in my house, Movie Pass is encouraging people to watch Plex movies in their house too because they have gone to complete total shit. Dog shit to be precise. (laughs) Like Uh, like, not even joking. Like dude. So so when, when I first got movie pass right about a year ago, I was singing its praises. I was so like, man, this is too good to be true. Well, obviously it is as all the news (laughs) in the last several months has come out. Like this business is like this close to failing it man i can barely watch a movie anymore i haven't actually used my movie pass in probably three months because the the movies that i want to see either aren't available on the movie pass or not like i could go like you know tuesday morning at 10 a.m or some crap not the not the showings (laughs) that i want to go see like you know opening night or something at the dollar theater (sighs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, if if only I had more than one theater available. To- <laughs> oh my gosh! So I get an email from Movie Pass yesterday or two days ago, one of those, and it's not from a person; it's from a dog. <laughs> this email comes from a dog. It says, "It says a letter from the director of marketing." Marketing. Mm-hmm. Sure, this dog wearing a, a movie pass scarf, and this is literally what the email says. I'm gonna read it to you in its entirety. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wolf. Wolf, I'm Chloe, the director of marketing at Movie Pass. I'd like to explain why from time to time you may have had a rough in quotes spelled R-U-F-F, a rough experience with us, but it turns out that I'm a dog and I can't talk. You don't have a hard time fucking t- anyway. <laughs> what I do know is that I see these humans working like crazy to make Movie Pass better and better for you as fast as possible. They are so grateful for your membership and support while they work it out. We're listening. We're learning. We're changing. Changing into dogs? Like what the fuck was this email? Okay, so many things. So many things. Ready? One. This isn't even a real dog. It's like one of those little dogs that you could put in a pocket and like throw away with lint because you forgot it was in there. It's one of those little, (laughs) little shitty dogs Two, Again, if you can't talk, then how are you forming words with your paws on the keyboard? Like just you, you're blowing up the guys in, in uh, three, there's no goodbye. There's no, uh, like we're changing. And then it stops. Uh, This okay. uh, I this was a triggering email because like if if MoviePass is sending out an informational email, it's like okay, all right, how how did they fuck me over again? Or Tonda says movie pause. Yeah, like like damn it, Tonda. (laughs) Hello, Tonda. By the way, good to see you here. But man, And, and and also they are so grateful for your membership and support. The one the membership you tried to cancel and we restarted on you automatically without your knowledge. Yeah, well, see, I got the I got the annual membership because remember I got this thing for like like six bucks a month or something. Right, like it was a steal. 
so my membership has like one more month left, I think, something like that. I better check on that because. Now, to, to be honest, I mean, you got your money's worth at least. You saw yeah. enough movies to make to get your seventy two dollars or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I saw like I've seen like probably ten or eleven movies with this thing. Right. So I mean, that breaks it down to like seven bucks a movie. So it, nothing else, you broke even. Yeah. No, I definitely, I definitely saved money already. Um, okay. Yeah. So, but it, but this was this was just kind of a a slap in the face email. Like, like uh, we're instead of instead of making our product better or like at least like you know stopping the you know screwing over of our customers. We're going to insult them by sending them an email from a dog that says nothing. I anyway, screw you movie pass. I'm so done. so done. Oh, at least they're going out with a bang instead of a whimper or maybe it is a whimper. Damn How, it. However that works out. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Oh you know what else God. is whimpering along is our Patreon, patreon.com slash ritual misery. Um, we are doing wonderful things on the internet. At least we think so. And if you think so, give a fuck and give a buck and cruise on over to ritual misery.com. Hit the little support thing or patreon.com slash ritual misery and uh, uh, pledge your allegiance to the almighty misery lights of the world. Wait, that's that. I'm not supposed to say that yet, are we? <gasps> no, no, not yet. No, no, no. no, no. Edit, that, edit that's, that out. That's, that's, that's uh, after 5,000 people, right? That's isn't so, that, and unfortunately, the people that watch us live on twitch.tv slash ritual misery every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central or thereabouts, uh, they, they got to hear that live. So when <laughs> that out. Um, Don, Don, Don DeGossa says, I'm so glad I never signed up. I don't know if he's referring to Movie Pass or our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, but, yeah, the more the merrier. We'd love to have you over there, Don DeGossa. Uh, that's <laughs> patreon.com. Slash ritual misery. Hey, we're not quite done with movies yet, are we? Nope. I hope not. What you got for us today, Jay? Um, let me make sure my soundboard is actually on this time, and then I'll hit the little button that says play. Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by Diamond Club TV for the week of November fifth, two thousand eighteen. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. At long last, we can finally all now. come together to vanquish our dreaded foe, the pumpkin spice latte. It knows what it did. Let's go to the scoreboard! Team Vox Bond's in last place with $44.7 million. Team Movie Party's in fifth place with $60 million. Team Game Night's in fourth place with $85.7 million. Team Have a Drink is in third place with $151.9 million. Team Drunk Kids Gaming is in second place with $203.8 million. And in first place, it's Team Retro Misery with $242.8 million. Large your movie draft minute all totals are accurate as of November 7th, 2018. So I'm guessing you couldn't hear that, huh? I could not. This is why we do sound sound checks before the show. <laughs> I thought we did enough sound checks in the pre-show. I, Either way, <laughs> dude, we are still in first place. We have not been in any position other than first place this entire draft so far. Right, right. And um, so DKG has, has, has this coming up. I mean, they're only 40 million behind us. Um, yeah, they get the team a that I'm about is have a drink because they're in third place and they're about to get a big fat movie tomorrow. Two movies uh, right back to back. So Dr. Seuss and the girl in the spider's web. I hope the girl in the spider's web does better than Dr. Seuss, but we all know that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it does better than the Grinch just because. That probably means the Grinch tanked. Mm. But if it does better than the Grinch because it was brilliant and and outpaced probably the highest grossing movie of the year so far, then we're screwed. And have a drink. Congratulations, you won the movie. <laughs> now, um, now we do like the, we have some buffer. We got ninety million dollars buffer over them, so we can eat one decent children's movie. One. Yes. Right, like like if Dr. Seuss comes out and it's decent, it pulls decent numbers, 60, 70 million, we're still good. We're still yeah. we're still okay. But if it, if it's a sudden like a, a, a unexpected hit, we're we're losing our spot. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know, but so even if we lose our spot, let's say let's say have a drink, um you know, has an awesome weekend 
awesome second weekend of the Grinch. Uh, they take first place. We're only a couple of weeks away from our Incredibles 2 this year. Ralph mm-hmm. breaks the internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, uh, we really banked on this movie just destroying the box office. Yeah. I faith. I have no reason to believe that it's not going to do just that. I believe if we get knocked out of first place in the next week or two, we're going to be right back on top when Ralph comes out. I mean, that is the the, the gamble we, we bet. So it's we, we, we kind of had our eyes on a few things. And uh, that was our big one. That was the one that we had to we had to have that one this year. Yeah. So. And that is I mean, we got Mortal Engines. And, um, wait, yep, and that's wait, mortal, <laughs> mortal engines. And, um, so that's it, folks. That's going to be the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, dude, I, I really hope that mortal engines is like a surprise sleeper hit. Like right now, nobody's heard of that movie, but yeah. as soon as they do, I think it's going to blow up. That is, um, Peter Jackson's new movie. Peter Jackson, of course, the guy that brought us Lord of the Rings, mm-hmm. um, if you haven't seen a trailer for it, like, go look at that thing. No. It looks like it looks like Mad Max meets, like, I, I don't even know. Like, it's anyway. Yeah, it's awesome. I I want to I want to point out that we took a Star Is Born mostly because we didn't want anyone else getting it. That was kind of our reason for getting that movie. We do like we we don't want to let that out there as this huge wild card. It almost made Venom money, which Venom wasn't supposed to make money, but did. It was a surprise hit, and the uh, Star is Born still made almost as much as Venom. So I feel really good about not letting someone else get that movie. Exactly. Yep. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, our our, our basket, uh, it, in our basket, lieth the egg of Ralph Breaks the Internet. Yep. So. Be huge. It's going to be huge. <laughs> it better be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I might take the kids it's, to see it individually, so at least my ticket counts more than once. <laughs> it's gonna be huge because it's gotta be huge. <laughs> and now he's not like Trump. Anyway, um, hey man, you got a game for us this week? Should I play the sounder? I think I should play the sounder. Let's play the sounder. Uh, sounder, play. Can I please have your attention? In the last thirty minutes, kids done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very. Excited. Kids games. Play with, Play, with Play, with Play with him. 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 It's not a at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you got a game. Um, and it's just for me this week. Is it just a one player game or could two people play? Uh, two people could play, but this is part two of a game that was played earlier. Oh. So this game is called The Best One Hitters. And those faithful viewers that are here every week might recognize that title. Hmm. uh, Because I put Squid through this game a couple weeks ago, and I, I want to put you through this game to see if you can fare as well as he did. Now, are, are these the same questions? Did you watch the episode? I did not. Oh, good, because they are the same. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, crap, we might not have the game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the game is how well can Amos remember? <laughs> yeah, that actually, that might still be just as fun in, in trying to, get, to match or beat uh, Squid's score. <laughs> All right, so no, I did not watch it because no, you have not published it because you're a putz. So get on so with the game. Dot TV slash ritual misery <laughs> under videos. <laughs> we both oh. know I don't go to Twitch unless I'm watching something cool, and that's definitely not going to be us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so the game is called the Best One Hitters. Mm-hmm. As a play on words, I am talking about One Hit Wonders, of course, from the 1980s. Good. You pretend to know something about music and mm. you were listening to music in the 1980s mm-hmm. you were uh, part of the MTV generation mm. and what I'm going to do is play the first few seconds of a 1980s one hit wonder and it is your job to tell me the name of the artist 
Okay. So you're giving me band names, not song titles. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before we go for any further, how many did Squid score? Like, what, what's my I, goal here? I, I, um, Squid's in the chat. Bear, Squid, how many did you score? Because Kent bear, clearly doesn't remember because he was drinking too much. No, I have the score right in front of me. I very specifically want to not reveal his score. Oh. Until you have oh. uh, succeeded or failed <laughs> in your quest. Okay. I'm going to laugh my ass off when I get one. You're like, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That obviously is Funky Town. Yes. What band? I It's a hit wonder. This is really their only hit. I don't remember the band name. I remember it's something weird like Kajagoogoo, but it, that's it's not Kajagoogoo, but it's something weird like that. It's not like some normal name. It's not like the 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 Crazy Sisters or something. Well, so, I mean, it's kind of crazy, I guess, but not as crazy as, as we're, what you're going with. The, the name of the band... Wait, actually, hold on. Let me uh, let me do this first. <laughs> the name of the band is Lips, Inc. Yes, see? I knew it was crazy. Yep. Move it forward. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Whip it, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> what one hit wonder performed that beauty of a song? Which, by the way, if you have listened to this week's 99% Invisible by Roman Mars, you would know the answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> the one week I don't get it, uh, as soon as it comes out, I listened to last week's episode this week. Uh, um, Great show. Uh, any of our listeners have not listened to 99% Invisible. Listen to this. Why are you listening to us and not? <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty great. Um, are, are you fully on the 99% Invisible bandwagon now? Oh, I'm 100%. Yeah. I finally got you hooked, huh? <laughs> I am. Yeah. I am on board. I've been trying to get you to listen to that goddamn show forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's one of those shows that I would listen to like I don't know three episodes a year or something like that. Yeah. Something really because I knew it was a good show, but like I I didn't have room for it in my in my in my week. And uh, but now I'm like, all right, um, so that show's done. I now have room, <laughs> full on board. We need to get Roman on this show. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. And um, Avery Coleman and a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> Okay, so that was uh, Whip It by... Oh, uh, shit. Uh, Devo? Uh, sh- okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. It is Devo. Okay. Whip It by Devo. <sighs> if you play Walk the Dinosaur, I'm going to be so pissed because I can never remember that band's name. <laughs> Uh, that's Flock of Seagulls. Nope. Oh, 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 hold up. I hit the wrong button. You said no. <laughs> I hit the no button. <laughs> it is indeed Flock of Seagulls. Yep. Uh, all I have to say is... Yes. And it's getting better all the time. There's nothing you and I won't do. Uh. If you if you picture the bit, you might. Uh. Here, let me live one more time. Stop the world and melt with you. You've seen the difference, and it's getting better all the time. Oh, I don't remember. God, and this is this one's gonna make me mad too. <laughs> Modern English. Yes. Damn it. I knew it was a two namer. <laughs> okay. That's Frankie goes to Hollywood.
It is indeed. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Your score because Frankie say relax. Ah, that's a good point. <laughs> so you are halfway through the game right now, and you have a score of three hmm. out of five. That's not bad. Okay. I mean, it's passing. It's a D, but I'll still give credit for the course. <laughs> <laughs> C's get de- C's get degrees. I need one more. Uh, and no, it's not the Carrera from from Wayne's World. Tony Basil. Well done, sir. I didn't think you were going to get that one. Hmm. I didn't either until I finished singing the song in my head. <laughs> oh, 99 Luft Balloons by... Oh, shit. <laughs> so Luft means air in German. Yeah, and it's actually, it's 99 Luft Balloons, but it's, the song is, actually says 99 Red, red Luft Balloons. And then... Uh-huh. No, because red is actually when so red ninety nine red balloons is like the, the English, English version, yeah, translated version. Of and it. they used it, they used it as um, they used it as a propaganda film in Germany or in, in yeah in Germany, but it was actually a song against the uh, uh, German war machine of eastern east eastern Germany. Eastern Germany. Yep. Yeah, and it was filmed on an airbase, an actual airbase, because the lead singer's dad was a colonel in the East German Army, so he let her use it because he, he thought she was going to use a, make a pro propaganda uh, video, and they turned it t- turned it completely the other way, and I don't I don't know what happened after that. Um. So who so who sings it? It was a lot of information, but not once did you say the artist's name. Uh, I don't remember. It is... It's going to fucking murder me, too. <laughs> it's Nina. Nina. Um, okay, that one I probably wouldn't have gotten. I, I was thinking something else. Okay. I do want to point out, my phone is blowing up with Twitter notifications, and it turns out that Richard Gunther is tweeting at us. <laughs> Angrily, <laughs> that that none of these are one hit wonders. <laughs> Not his game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard, if you want to make a game about one hit wonders, I encourage you to. Um, anyway, okay, so here we <laughs> here is the next one. This is Take On Me by AHA. That was too easy. Yeah, yeah. That, Even that my one kids was... would have gotten that one. <laughs> like, AHA. I'll run from you. This tainted love you give Soft. us. I give. That's Tainted Love by Soft Cell. <laughs> is, is this like... Is this like a bunch of par threes on the back nine? What's going on here? <laughs> all, right. all right. All right. So this is your final one. Okay. You really have a score of six with the possibility of getting seven. Seven of seven of ten. To 10. So 70%. So this is for my C. This is for my C's get degrees. For the C. Okay. Exactly. It's going to be some obscure shit that I don't know. Damn it. It's Come On Eileen by... Oh, I just had it too. Dexie's Midnight Runners. (laughs) Very good. You got your C. (laughs) (laughs) So Squid Uh also played this game a couple of weeks ago. Uh Uh-huh. Um, if I'm going to compare your score to Squids, I'm going to say to you, I think the only time in show history that anyone ever got 
every question correct. Wow. Yeah, that that doesn't surprise me with Squid at all. Uh, yeah, I the, the dude is probably the one person that I will openly admit knows more random music shit than I do. Yeah, like I knew he was going to do well on this, but most of them like I barely hit play and he was like like oh, uh Frankie goes to Hollywood. Oh, 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 Nina. Like immediately. It's like what the shit? Like we were done with the game in like three and a half minutes. Yeah. When I was in Hawaii, we had a game where we'd, you know, the, the video stations where you just play and it's like music videos or sometimes just random. It's music, but then it, it'll have like abstract crap going on. But in the bottom, it'll say the artist and the name and the title and the year it came out, all that stuff. Mm. We used to play the game where every time a song came on, you could get up to five points. One for the name of the song, one for the artist, one for the name of the album, one for the year that it was released. And then a fifth one, if you could say which track it was. Oh, good Lord. Right. Um, like, but if you got the first four, you got the fifth one automatically, but it was kind of like a, just a, a little show me thing. Anytime someone got all four, um, the person the, the, with the lowest score had to go get him a beer. Well, uh, me, and my, me, me and my buddy uh, were very, very good at this game. So we basically sat around getting beers all night long because we didn't have to get up at all. Like we were just nailing it every single time. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, like give, give me like the first five Metallica albums. I, I'd probably do quite well. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't. Uh, no, no, I, I would throw lightning on and you'd be screwed halfway through. Maybe. <laughs> so from puppets to black, you're good. <laughs> We'll see. We're, we're going to have to play this one of these days. <laughs> Maybe you can make a game one of these weeks. Yeah, or or just throw lyrics at you instead of the songs. Play the Just read the lyric, and then you're completely lost. Because that was my game with you in high school. I'd give you a lyric, and you'd be like, ah. Yeah, that... that, hmm. that. <laughs> give you a guitar if you'd be able to figure it out, but give you the, the lyric, and you're like, Shh, uh, I could probably pick the album, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Man. Well, congratulations to Squid. Fuck you. Yep, dude. dude. We've almost had we've almost had a full show. Yeah, just uh, you know I, want, I want I want to tell some folks about some things, man. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's tell them about the special underwear you have hidden in the back of your sock drawer. I'm actually gonna save that story for December 31st. No, oh. because <laughs> on December 31st, Ritual Misery is going to open the 27 hour stream for the new year's eve streamathon mm-hmm. I open with the one hour intro show and then 26 hours after that we are going to close the streamathon with another one hour uh kind of wrap up show and in between our two streams we're gonna have all kinds of awesome people to stream we've got the current geek folks i think are going to be doing a stream we were, mm. we're gonna have party we're gonna have um have a drink show we're gonna have hot beverages we're gonna have um oh my gosh i don't have my list pulled up we've got so I, so many- I, i'm gonna i'm gonna take a second here hot beverages was on last year's right that was last year that she came on well she was on both of them but she did her own segment last year i think so okay like they all then because we've done this this is our Fourth annual, right? Yeah, well, this is yes. This is the fourth annual Ritual Misery New Year's Eve streamathon. Well, yes, Diamond Club streamathon. It became the Diamond Club streamathon from the original Ritual Misery stream. It originally right. it was just me, uh, so fuck y'all. And then it became the Diamond Club streamathon. <laughs> it skipped right over Ritual Misery, and <laughs> uh, yep. Media King nine nine says the fourth. Yes, the first year was when I was in Korea. I did twenty four hours and twenty four minutes straight by myself. The next year was the first time with uh no, it what? wasn't a hundred percent by yourself i would say it was like well i was eight. i was on it for 24 24 straight and then i had yep um i, I mean there's I, so many I, people for a while uh brian brushwood i think was on there yep. for a while um uh tay allen was on for a while uh t2 t2 was uh hosting was in chat and hosting some uh, J- japanese new year's eve videos Yep, that's for a right. bit, uh, even though he wasn't actually on the show, uh, he was still taking part. 
Actually, um, I think this was I think that was Tay Allen's first ever R and P appearance, right? I don't know. On I don't the know. original streamathon before it, we called it the streamathon. It might have been. I don't remember. Um uh BioCow is on that first one. Yep. He called in. Um Plus, one of your old buddies, I don't remember. Royce who it was. Kaufman, uh, aka Black Man Down. Yep, he called in. We talked for like three hours on on uh, uh, sacrilegious music and race relations. That was a wonderful conversation. That Did, uh, is lost to time, unfortunately. Squid, squid. Oh yeah, that's right. Squid called in. Uh, Lift um, stories from from a Lyft driver or something like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a lot of fun that first year, uh, and it's just getting better since. So. Yeah, absolutely. We've already got a, a bunch of acts signed up, but good news for all you streamers that haven't signed up yet: there are still slots available. And uh, actually, quite a few time slots uh, are still available. So if you even think that you might probably, you know, maybe might want to stream for the streamathon or help out in any other way, whether it's tech support, uh, promotion, um, art, sound bites, uh, all sorts of different ways that you can help out with the streamathon, you can head over to bit.ly slash streamathon2018 sign up. I know that's kind of a long one, but it's all lowercase. It's all one word. Bit.ly slash streamathon2018 sign up. I'm, uh, having, I'm having the same problem you had earlier where I can't find the actual sheet to, <laughs> to look yeah. at who signed up. Uh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Now I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm less stupid than I was before. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you've got, you've got a list, a, a partial <clears throat> list there to have some game night action going on. We're going to have some VOD squad. We've got Jackie Hearn doing a stream. Don't We've forget got, the uh, movie party. Yep. I, I mentioned the movie okay. party there. It's worth mentioning twice because, uh, it's going to go for at least a couple of <laughs> slots. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> it always does. Well, I mean, it's going to have to, because I mean, what movie can you contain in a one hour slot? Right. I mean, it's <laughs> not very many of them out there. At least one's worth watching. Uh, squid is going to do a show. Nice hour of squid is going to be awesome um maybe two hours if he if he's feeling real froggy hopefully we can get big voice jay back on again that was awesome oh hells yes yeah i um yeah i almost guarantee he's gonna do it he's he's all about it um but yeah we've got we've got a lot but, of people already signed up but can't why do we do this uh, you know what i tell you what man i'm not even going to show up unless you can give me two reasons why we should do this all right, man. Well, the first reason that we do it, and, and this was kind of the part of the, well, really the genesis of the idea for the streamathon was to make sure that everyone out there has somewhere to go where they can be with friends on New Year's Eve. A lot of holidays are tough, but uh, but everybody kind of claims, um, you know, other times, you know, Christmas streams and Thanksgiving and Halloween, like and all these things, right? Um, New Year's Eve, people tend to just go out and party and get wasted. Well. If if you're gonna do that and be by yourself, I would rather you go to our streamathon, the Diamond Club streamathon, and be with friends. Hop in the the chat realm. It is always lively. Last year it was lively chat for 27 hours straight, and I'm not even kidding. Like yep. from from the, before we even went live, the chat room was filling up, and it stayed full for 27 hours. It was I, amazing. I kind of think there might have been some people that were in there the entire time. Like stay yeah. there the whole time. <laughs> I think there were some dudes. Like, yeah, if, there was a there were that's, a couple. That's not a challenge, by the way. I don't recommend anyone try the <laughs> twenty-seven hour streamathon live the entire time challenge. There um, were a couple <laughs> that were were streaming, and they were in chat all the way up until like fifteen minutes before they had to do their own stream. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh shit, I gotta boot my computer." <laughs> yeah, and as soon as their stream was over, they like hopped right back in, and they they stayed at it. Um, yep. So much fun. I guarantee it's going to be awesome, and it's even more fun if if you are a volunteer or a participant in the streamathon. But that is not all, Amos. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You owe me one more reason, dude. We're not doing it just because it's fun and, and and it's awesome to hang out with people and not be alone. But but give me a real like give me give me a real impactful reason, like something that something that takes it beyond just us and 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 makes it like this extraordinary thing that would be altruistic almost because i mean well, uh, true altruism so, doesn't exist but as altruistic so, as we could possibly be so you know how there's there's children right like children exist yeah i got some right upstairs yeah and you know how like some of them uh, aren't necessarily healthy mm, yeah 
know? Yeah, yeah, that that does. I mean, that's that's a real downer for a family. And you know how like sometimes when a kid gets sick, it's real hard on the family from a financial standpoint. I mean, not yeah. to mention emotionally and everything else. Yeah. Um, families need monetary support, and one thing that we can do during that twenty-seven hours is raise money in a very fun way and give all of that money to sick kids. Uh, we are teaming up this year with uh, Extra Life mm-hmm. to raise money for the Children's uh, Children's Miracle Network. There you go. <laughs> From memory, I don't, it's been a while since I've actually looked at the page. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the Children's Miracle Network, um, they have a wonderful network of children's hospitals, and Extra Life is amazing in their partnership, and it's going to be awesome. Man, our streamers last year came up with all sorts of creative ways to get people to to donate, mm-hmm. and we raised a fuckload of money for the kids, and it was awesome, and it's going to be awesome again this year, and please, please, please be a part of it. It is awesome. One more time, and it's bit.ly slash streamathon2018. Sign up. Yep. We got something else coming up too, dude. What's Probably that? a few weeks after the streamathon, RMP is going to hit their 200th episode. Lucky bastards. I know, man. We We've done a lot. Do that. We've done a lot. This is episode 193. We've only got seven more episodes to go before we hit 200. We've done a lot in dun, these dun, past dun. Uh, We've got a lot to celebrate, and uh, we're going to do it in style, and we need everyone's help. If you have enjoyed this show, even once, I want you to head over to YOLO420.com slash RMP200. It's a real short audience poll. Like, I guarantee it'll take you less than a minute, probably less than 30 seconds to fill this thing out. It'll take longer for your 366 baud modem to dial up to the page than it will for you to answer the pages. That is correct. That is 100% true. Uh, <laughs> get over there, fill that thing out. Uh, most of it's radio buttons. There's a couple fill in the blanks, but uh, uh, just... Fill it out for us. That would help us out a lot to figure out uh, what you guys like about the show and things that we want to highlight in our our little um, uh, reminiscing video and thing that things that we're going to do as part of our 200th episode celebration. That we would love it if you guys went over there and filled it out one more time. It's yolo420.com/rmp200. Yep. Um, one more thing. There's all kinds of people down here that got these little badges on their names, right? The little crowns and little stars and little diamonds and, and, uh, and like a sword and some other things. Um, real, I don't, I don't even know what all those mean, but I'm really, really happy to see all those sitting there. Uh, it makes me really, really happy that you guys are supporting us and supporting Twitch in general and the creators that, that dwell and survive here. So if you don't have a badge by your name, if you'd want a different one, I wish I could tell you what they do, but go find out and find a way to make one happen. And if you make one happen for us, we really appreciate it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. One one way you can get one of those things is to, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can go to uh, uh, twitch.com slash ritual misery and click on the subscribe button and link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. And then you'll be able to give us $5 for free. Was there, uh, was, was there, um, was that, uh, uh, Amazon dot what? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I missed something. What? What are you talking <laughs> about? What? Exactly. Let's go to, to twitch.tv slash ritual misery and subscribe. Yeah, do that. Hey, um, <laughs> it's about time for us to get the hell out of here. We got some, uh, some, some cheers coming in. We really appreciate that. That's badass. Totally cool of you. Throw us a dime, man. That's almost a phone call. I remember Hell back yeah. when it was Thank a phone you, call. Justin Wild and Bad Weave in particular. Um, yeah, man. Hey, if we got to get out of here right now. But if you want to see uh, more of what I've got going on, go over to Twitter. I am at RM underscore Del Noche. Uh, just look me up there. Amos, if they want more of you, where do they go? Twitter. And is your name Amos? Is it like at Amos? No. <laughs> I'm betting. That it's one of your aliases, I, and I bet this one in particular is Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E. Is there anywhere else they should go? Maybe to follow the show? Who told you? <laughs> why? Why are you spying on me? 
That's what I do. What I do. <clears throat> um, yeah, you can just uh, cruise on over to Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E, or if you want to follow the show at Ritual Misery, R I T U A L M I S E R Y. Um, we uh, we uh, we try to be live every Thursday at uh, seven p.m. Pacific time. I forgot to mention time zones this week, but they suck and they're stupid. And yeah, our our semi annual. Rant against time zones. Is it semi-annual or biannual? Uh, anyway. Um, annual is every 180 days. <laughs> ish, right? Because it's not 300. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, we are live every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific on DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.com slash Ritual Misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music, which is my key to hit this button. And uh, we really do appreciate you watching and or listening for me, for Kent, and for you. This has been, I'm waiting, 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 your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. You have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y. Uh, welcome to radio. I'll uh, be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Since I couldn't hear any of the sound. Yeah, I don't know what's I had to keep guessing. Like, uh, is it is it done? Can I talk now? <laughs> I yeah, I I mm, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, hey, uh, real quick, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to mention I saw in chat as we were closing out. Real quick, before you say that, though, I want uh, everybody to head over to rmp.showbot.tv and help us pick a title. Go, Amos. What were you going to say? Well, I can't find it now. <laughs>